Okay, in this next video, I'm still working with the new cow neck top from 5 out of 4 pattern. This is my front bodice that's right side together with my back bodice. And what I've done is starting at the shoulder, I've pinned together the shoulder seams. I've already basted my pleats and I've pinned right up to the cow line. And so this extra fabric is actually the cow neck facing. And I'm just going to leave it loose at the top. I've done both shoulders. That's what it looks like from um, the front. And then I'm going to flip it over. And this is what it's going to look like from the back. Okay, so this is my back neckline that I've already applied the facing to and already sewn it down. Everything is pinned. My cow neck peeks over the top of the neckline and all I'm trying to do in this step is show you that you're folding the cow neck facing over matching it to the shoulders seam you can see it loose right here I'm going to fold it so it's snug but I don't want to stretch it out and then I'm going to repin so it lines up here at the shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I've repinned it. Let's straighten this out. I've repinned one side and then I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. So you fold it so it's snug right up against the facing line, the cow neck facing line, and you're just repinning it so it's lined up with the shoulder seam. So when you're done pinning, it's going to look a little funky. It's going to look like that. You can see the cow neck peeking over the top. And then you're going to sew your two shoulder seams. Shoulder seams now. And all I'm going to do is take the cow facing and fold it over the shoulder seams. So this is the view from the inside of the front. And then if you look at the back, this is the view from the back, so it just looks nice. And then when you turn it right side out, there you go. You're ready for the next step. Hopefully this video on the shoulder pleats, and, well, the, the previous video on the shoulder pleats, and this video on how to do the shoulder seams has helped make this pattern pretty easy and a quick sew. As always, if you have any questions, you can ask in our 5 out of 4 Facebook group or leave a question down below. Um, if you want to follow the 5 out of 4 YouTube channel for more tutorials, that is awesome too.